Hello and welcome to Talk TV. I'm your host, Doug Brendel. Tonight we have a return guest, Joseph P. Silvestri, and he is running for U.S. Congress District 4. And Joe, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing good. It's good to see you again. Doug. Good. Good to have you back. Yeah. So, uh, Joe, for the folks who may not have seen the first edition of your appearance here, mm -hmm. uh, give us a little background on uh, who you are, where you're from, and uh, your vocation and things like okay, that. All right. Well, um, I am. Uh, I guess I'm a long term, long time uh, Nevada resident. I've been here for about 15 years now. I grew up on Long Island in New York State, uh, but I've been teaching uh, in Nevada, Las Vegas now for about 15 years. I teach for the Clark County School District. Uh, currently, I teach high school history, um, and uh, I'm, I'm a very happy father with <laughs> two kids who are playing with their little Kindles back here, and. Um, I don't know. I'm just a real active person. I'm uh, very outdoors. Um, I'm, I've been in, uh, an ocean lifeguard for much of my life. Uh, mm. uh, I, I thrive on education, and uh, I'm very passionate about liberty as well, which is what brought me to running for office. Uh, as much as I really detest politics, um, my understanding of politics, I guess because I'm a, I've been a teacher and uh, because of... Um, W w my studies over the years, I realized that our system is not going to change unless good, knowledgeable people are involved in the process. And uh, so I'm just doing my part, and that means this year I'm running for Congress uh, in District 4, and I am working to build and grow a political movement that w is going to offer American voters a, a really a true, a true alternative, a, a real choice, unlike what we, we get every year. Right, good thing. Yeah. Uh, so it was mainly uh, your own uh, motivation that got you into it. Uh, did anybody prod you and say, you know, no, what, with no. your, your beliefs and uh, no, the no. way you are, you ought to get into? No, no, no nobody prodded me. Uh, you know, I had a, I've had a, uh, my my early childhood was I grew up with a very strong Christian background, and uh, you know, there's a, a passage or a parable, I suppose, where Jesus talks about. Um, uh, giving a rich man gives talents, right? Pieces of what gold. What do you do with it? What do you do with a thousand and a right. hundred and ten? And and uh, you know, a couple of them use them wisely, and mm -hmm. and one of his servants buries it in the sand right. and doesn't use it, and he's reprimanded for that. Yeah. Like you, you could have just at least invested it and right. come away with something productive. And I I look at that as we should use our our abilities, our skills, our the, the life we've been given to do the right thing. And so I do have an understanding of our system. I have an understanding of politics and I, I, I guess I was self-motivated to get involved. What was the prompt was really Harry Brown. Uh, Harry Brown wrote a book some years ago when he was the presidential candidate uh, in 96. He wrote a book called Why Government Doesn't Work. And a friend of mine gave that to me and I, I read the book uh, and you know, I was a political science history major in college. I understood all these types of governments in the world and governments throughout history. And I never looked at the concept of government itself and it being the problem. And I read why government doesn't work and the light went on. I was like, wow, that does explain a lot. Uh, and it made sense to me. And so I then, and I was not drawn to the Democrats or Republicans. Uh, I never have been. Uh, I, I immediately recognized that I was a libertarian. I, I believe in live and let live. I believe in living my life by the golden rule. And that's really what the libertarian philosophy is. It's applying tolerance for others, giving free will to others to live peacefully. And so that brought me to the libertarian party. I realized I was a libertarian, small l. And, uh, but I also realized if I'm going to be involved in a political party, it's going to be the libertarian party. And so I, I quickly sorted out and got involved and within a very short period of time, I found myself taking positions that eventually <laughs> led to me running for Congress. So <laughs> you said, "Well, you know what? Yeah. I think it's a good fit. <laughs> I, I'm going to be in the Libertarian Party." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, it, it is a fit. I, 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 I'm not much of a salesman. I don't like selling something that I don't believe in. And this is not even a sell. This is just trying to persuade people that we can make a difference and we can make a change. Uh, and that's really what we need. We need to to encourage other people to make a change, to stop voting for the standard status quo uh, and expect change. If, if we're going to make change, we have to break from that, that, you know, that rut that the American voters in. So I'm right. just I'm just one of these servants doing my job. Well, I know that uh, I've been a libertarian mm -hmm. for a good number of years. I showed you my yeah, voting yeah. card that I'm so proud uh, of. That's, that, I <laughs> but, love that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And. 
a lot of people aren't aware of the fact that libertarian candidates get voted into more local offices sure. all over the place. Yep. Yep. A little bit more rare at yep. the national level. So right. how do you feel about that? Uh, you're confident that going to Washington, uh, you can work with basically well, all other members because it's not like reaching across the aisle. As well, they I'm say. not. Yeah. You, you have to say, hey, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going to work with all of you here. Yeah. I well, I don't know if I'm going to work with anybody, uh, <laughs> it's, to be honest with you. I'm, I'm very much, uh, and I don't want to use the word politician, but I'm a candidate in in the mold uh, of Ron Paul. And I'm not going to vote for anything I don't believe in. And running as a, a libertarian candidate and coming from the background that I have, I, I, I'm indebted to no special interest. My special interest is the individual and the family. And that's who I'm sold out to. So uh, now if I had sold out to the special interests, I'd probably be elected by now. And if I was uh, a little more comfortable lying, I would have joined the Democrats and Republicans and told people what they wanted to hear and then did exactly what uh, my donors were telling me. But I, I can't live like that. So uh, if I go to Congress, and, and let's be honest, this is a long shot because I, I realize that the voter uh, demographics are overwhelmingly Democrat and Republican. I understand that. I'm running, uh, I'm running for a number of reasons. One, to get this message out, to give voters uh, an alternative vote, because I can't vote Democrat or Republican anymore. I'm going to vote for a libertarian candidate. Uh, I, I know I'm a quality candidate and a quality person. I can do this job. Um, but uh, I'm also running to make sure that our party has ballot access because the Democrats and Republicans have made it very difficult for third parties to get on the ballot and remain on the ballot. And uh, to do that, we need votes. So we need quality candidates to run for these higher offices, which are admittedly more difficult to win than a lower office where I'm more likely to win. But mm -hmm. right now, this is what I feel I need to do. Uh, the next time I run, and I say the next time because it's likely I'm going to run again, uh, I don't know if I'm going to run for District 4. I really want to be elected. So uh, we'll see where I go in two years or in the future. So if, uh, I'd say folks that support me should, should uh, stay involved and uh, um, work with me to get another Libertarian elected. So, all right. Yeah. Well, at that, Joe, uh, we're going to take a quick break. And okay. when we come back, I would like to talk about politics, debates. Okay. And, uh, yeah, the debates. Yeah. <laughs> and Governor Gary Johnson running for president Great. on uh, Great. your party's ticket. Mm -hmm. So, folks, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back in about two minutes and we'll have more with Joseph P. Silvestri.